Hey, Orange One here. So we've got a interesting situation where we've just recruited um, a mercenary here, and he's gonna be in our party. Um, before we do that, though, I did want to um, have our wife have our own party so that we can get some more influence. Um, in case you haven't noticed, we've got a lot of people just kind of hanging out in our um, in our army. We got a couple different people hanging out. Uh, we'll get you and you, and I don't think we have enough to recruit you as well. But let's get you guys in the army. Hello, are you guys gonna come towards me or what? Yeah, there we go, and there we go. We're gonna just be a general nuisance to the Vlandians. It's been a while since we were last uh, fighting them, but we um, basically just talked to this mercenary and gave him a bunch of like stuff that I've been collecting. Um, these guys are kind of friendly, so I do feel bad about this, but we're at war and we need more. We need uh more troops basically so i mean we have so many people compared to them i think that we can just kind of hang back and we should be able to just destroy them um but i'm not sure oh my gosh we have so many people on this map it's like not really made for these numbers Sergeants, take command. you guys can go ahead and get in there then this is insane there's like so many people that this map is just kind of buckling under it there should be maybe a different map when you attack with like 300 something people um, I think honestly, guys, if we were to hit them with archers, we'd be fine. We're gonna maybe lose more people than I would like here, but we do outnumber them kind of like two to one practically, I think. Oh man, I hit a shield. I'm like behind them and I hit their shield. It's not good. Oh, I hit another shield. Okay, they're starting to flee. Good. Hopefully we didn't lose too many people. And hopefully, we should actually get a good amount of prisoners. Which I think will increase our party size. Not just mine, but uh, like my companions and whatnot. I think they recruit from prisoners, Sun was saying. So that'll be good for us. And we'll get some good experience taking them out like this. This is basically, I'm just trying to get my death ball a little bit more experience. And hopefully these mercenaries will stay with me because... Uh, I don't really know how likely they are to, because I've been reading how um, NPCs, they just come and go between parties a ton. I mean, I've seen it myself, but I think I've been doing a lot of that myself, kind of affecting things. Oh wow, that arrow almost hit me, dude. Okay, we did lose 19 people, so unless we get a lot of prisoners, yeah, it's not really worth it. And we definitely lost more people than we got there. Uh, oh, we're over our prisoner li Oh, dang. I keep on forgetting that. Hopefully my other companions pick up these prisoners from the prisoner pool. I don't know if they do. I suspect they don't. Yep. Um... Not a whole lot of recruits. Yeah, we definitely didn't get very much from that. It was a shame. And we could raid it, though, for, like, no penalty at this point. I just don't want to be a jerk. I don't think that's really worth it for us. Um, but I do want to ma maintain the pressure on the Vlandians as much as possible ma while maintaining uh, the mercenaries, uh, making sure they're happy. So if I go to my kingdom, I go to clans, uh, yeah, I don't have enough influence to make you like us more. It's a shame. If I talk to you, can I give you gifts? I'm just curious if I can make him like me more. There's something I'd like to discuss. No. Okay, so I can't give him things. Okay, weird. Um, let's see, I just don't want him to like run out of like influence or anything. Ah, uh, man, there's so many defenders in these places. It's just insane. I don't understand why they have so many defenders because like I could have sworn that I didn't have that many defenders. 
Um, this place is like no defenders though, so we can raid it. This place was I saw they've been they've been um not doing too great for a while now. I'm seeing how we've got like a 10 to 1 ratio. I'm pretty sure we're gonna recuperate our losses from this battle. Sergeants in charge! <laughs> yeah. I mean it's kind of at this point it's like, okay, I've lost the castles, but really the castles were only important for getting us a, a, a kingdom, being able to claim that we're a kingdom. Now that we're a landless kingdom, now we can have this mercenary and other lords join us. I think the mercenary is great and all, but what we really want is other lords, you know? Because the mercenaries, I don't think... Are, well, I mean, they're mercenaries. They're not as loyal. We know that. Okay, yeah, you archers need to go down. Yeah, luckily I'm distracting them a good amount, I think. Ah! Whoops. Yeah, that was perfect, actually. I know it didn't look like I did a whole lot there, but I kind of pulled them in, in just the right way. So that it, uh, they, they weren't shooting my people as they were getting approached. You know? Yeah. Ruth built up a nice uh, contingency of archers and horsemen at this point. I'm pretty happy with it. I think, like, out in the open we do very, very well with our current party. Just need more units, honestly. Yeah, both of you. That sounds good to me. I need to just build up my personal army myself. And we are. We are kind of doing that. Um, I think these looters, we can catch them as well. Yes, we can. Cool. If they are, want to join me, I might let them join us. Um, yeah, let's do it. I'll take you. I just kind of need the numbers. Is what I'm thinking. I mean, it'd be kind of nice to get the experience of fighting them. Oh my god, this place has 11 defenders. Again, why is this popping up? I don't... I feel like it's a bug. Like, I'm not seeing any indicator that I actually need to do anything. If you know what's going on, please put it in a comment, because I'm so confused. Um, yep, yeah, give me your recruits. I'm just going to continue to harass these, these places that give me... Um, your a positive, not kill to death ratio, but it's like I'm acquiring more than I'm losing, you know? So it's not like kills, it's more like acquired prisoners to death ratio, <laughs> you know? Oh man, we have so many people compared to them, this is insane. Oh man, <laughs> that was quite the hit too. I'm not even gonna do anything anymore, I'm just gonna watch. Are you horsemen? Yeah, you're you're doing fine. Yeah, no loss of life for us, I don't think. I don't think they could even get a kill, really. Good. Yeah, I mean, if there's only 11 of you at that point, they should just stand down and just all join me. You know, like, honestly, if you have, like, 130 villagers defending that village... Maybe you could just give me that village. Um, I'm not seeing any lords, man. I've just not really been having that luck. Oh, look, there's one. Lankator. You're chasing after me. That's perfect. If I can fight him, I would be very happy. Uh, how are you out here? Yeah, if, if you want to fight me... Um, I don't think that I'm going to be able to fight him. A hundred defenders. Yeah, we can do that, though. We could definitely do that. Um, yeah, I feel like we're just going around decimating their... Um, wait, hold on. Did that say 370? Oh, that's including my people. Okay. Anyone willing to join me? No, not willingly. Okay, well... If I take hostile action, yes, I can fight just them. Cool. Okay. Man, I've turned into a bandit king again. At least I'm not, like, just taking their supplies. I'm like, guys, help me. And they're like, no. Let's get the cavalry and just kind of loop the cavalry around, you know? 
Like, instead of just going head on with the cavalry, we'll uh, maybe flank him a little bit. I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, sergeants, just get in there. Honestly, I just totally bo bo like borked that pretty badly. Oh man, I'm like by myself cornered. Alright, dude. You wanna go? You wanna fight a king? <laughs> I am a king now, by the way. If you hadn't realized that. Oh my gosh, look at this melee. Okay, we're losing more people than I, I thought we would. Hopefully they, uh, they're just hurt. They're not dead, you know? Yeah, you're going down there, buddy. Your friend, though, might get away. Aw, oh, come on. Aw, oh, he, he moved to the side. Okay, I think that we're good. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let them run them down, get a little more experience, I think. I myself can't recruit more prisoners. I mean, I did get those looters, so I should actually be able to get more prisoners, because the looters, I suppose, are watching the prisoners. Which is, like, perfect, actually. Man, I think I've got, like, a nice army here. Like, sure, there's some looters in it, but I think we have a lot of really good troops. Yeah, we did lose 14. But given the prisoners... Yeah, I think that given that number of prisoners that we just got there... Um, and the experience, and the re more recruits that we're getting, that was that was probably for the better. And I'm going to continue doing things like this, I think, until we get, like, a ton of troops myself. And then um, we'll be able to, like, maybe get more lords. Because I, I don't think, for some reason, it's it's been super hard for me to convince our lords to join up with us. Um, let's see. They've got 125. I feel like we're just kind of going along and just destroying all of their defenders and their villages, which I am okay with, because that means that we can just, like, come back and then bully them some more. And we're getting some influence. Oh no! Uh, somebody got taken prisoner. Can I tell you guys to come to me? It only costs me 9 influence, and it will make me significantly stronger, so I think that we do want to do that. Um, and then if I try and do hostile action here, yes, that guy's not included. Yeah, let's do it then. I mean, I was tempted to wait, but I think, honestly, that it's probably best for us to just kind of push in as much as possible with the Vlandians, because it, it's going to get us more influence, essentially. And I, I just am in an uphill battle with that right now. Hello, are you guys going to shoot at me? Yeah. You can shoot at me. I'm over here. Yep, come on. Look at me, look at me. Can't catch me. <laughs> ah! There goes our frames for a second. Okay, it's back to normal, it's fine. But I think, yeah, we want to pull- Oh my gosh, they're getting a lot of kills. What is going on? Hear me! Take over command! Guys, why are so many of you dying? What the heck is happening? Why are so many people dying? Get in there. Jesus Christ. I think there was something bad with the AI. That is really frustrating. Are you kidding me? Like, did we seriously lose that? How, I th we're definitely in the negative on the loss on this. That was horrible. They were just like, I think, just standing there getting shot at. And now that they're charging, they're actually getting kills. Yeah, I think we must have just gotten stuck. Okay, well, in the future, we'll just charge them in this situation. Yeah, 24. That is horrible. That is absolutely terrible for us. It's a good thing that we got that uh, other guy coming our way. And... At least we got some experience, right? That's the other thing that I need to keep in mind is that those looters are now like not terrible. They're actually troops. <laughs> it's funny how we've been essentially sustaining ourselves in this foreign territory. Um 
Oh, that's actually a troop. Nice. Like a good troop, like a level five or whatever. Um, I think I'm gonna start kind of moving back towards those places that we were kind of passing through. I think we may even be able to catch that dude. Maybe, maybe not. We might not be able to. I think they're actually too fast, but we'll try. And maybe the guy that we sent for, like, reinforcements will, like, get him from the other side, possibly. You know? Um... There's a couple people here. If I go back to here, can I then... No, I can't. Yeah, they need to get some actual defenders, I think. Or something. For us to be able to do that. Um... How fast are you guys? You're chasing after me? That's dumb. That's like a really bad idea. Is there any way that I can corner some of these guys? Eckard, I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch, but I can kind of split them up a little bit, and then I might be able to chase one of them down, like to the mountains. Yeah, I can totally split you and corner one of you in the mountains. We're gonna try and do that. Um, let's actually have a look at either one of you um, recruitable Lantanor. Lantanor. No, you're not recruitable. Um, Abal. Oh, you, you're the one, I think, that took my castle. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you, you're the only one left in your family. <laughs> okay, so we want to maybe capture him. Is basically what I'm seeing there. Come on, guys. I need to, I need to split them. And they're kind of just a little too close. Yeah, here we go. This is what I was hoping for. Hopefully, I can get you to join my uh, my faction. I think we will be able to. Yes. Um, if you'll join me, I'll I'll let you. Oh, nice. Okay, this guy is probably joining. Pretty much guaranteed, <clears throat> unless he's like some, <clears throat> excuse me, like hoity-toity dude that I can't afford. That is possible. Yeah, he's going to need uh, some bribery. If I do all of my items, still not enough. Okay, so this guy's going to be expensive. Um, I would like to give him items, but it's like really annoying for you guys for me to do that. And it doesn't really, as you can see, this guy is going to cost a lot. Okay, let's see how much money you're going to need. Because if it's a whole lot, eh, let's do the auto offer. You better not betray me, dude, is all I'm saying. That's a lot of cash. We're doing it. We got to do it. We need companions. So if this dude will actually join me and be like my bro, um, <laughs> then I'm happy, you know? Um, see, if I do this, that costs me 15. I think it's worth it though, honestly. If we can then use him to like attack other places and like, if I can get this guy, if I can corner you, which I don't know if we will be able to, I'd be very happy. Um, we definitely have enough to like siege like a castle, just like regular, you know? <laughs> See what I mean? I'm not seeing the thing. Like, what is the thing that you're trying to get me to do? Um, yeah, I don't know. My voice has been super scratchy recently. I don't. I hope I'm not getting sick. It's weird because like I haven't been sick the entire coronavirus, which is super, super rare for me. I am always sick, and I think it's because I'm a teacher. Like honestly. Oh look, this place is. Uh, I've got more people than this place has defending it. Okay, I think we have you cornered, right? Can you get out of there? No, I don't think you can. 
Sweet. Okay, let's, let's go over here. Alright, this guy is going down. He's not in charge of a faction, though. So... Oh, what? God. Betrayal. Seriously, like... I just spent, like, so much money on that dude, and then he joins the Asari? Are you kidding me? God, that is annoying. I literally just spent, like, almost a quarter of all of my gold on you. Sergeants, take command! Ungrateful. Ungrateful. Why are we so laggy? What's going on here? Not like, my computer is totally fine temperature-wise. Hey, guys, you know, I know that we have, like, a ton of troops, but, um... Can I get you all to just be a little bit more cautious and just kind of like hold the ground like maybe here-ish? No, they're not approaching us, so we need to go to them. Okay. Let's get everyone within shooting range so the archers can just like peg them. You gotta peg them, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Have you guys seen that show Broad City? If you haven't, you need to. It's hilarious. There's this whole um, thing about pegging, which I was not even aware was a thing. It's apparently when like a woman um, has anal sex with a man, <laughs> and, like with like a, a vibrator or something. Um, but they have this whole like series of jokes about this one character who's like this neighbor of the, one of the girls, and. She thinks she's the weirdo for like forever. She's like this really socially awkward character. And then this dude totally is like into that. And it's like the funniest relationship. And like her friend is like so mad. Like so mad. Okay, my graphics card is actually getting a little hot here. Guys. I am a little bit concerned about my graphics card. That frame rate drop was significant earlier. Let's just get this battle done with, because I think that's what's causing this issue. I mean, the frames are doing good now. I think it's just kind of pushing itself to its upper limit temperature-wise. And, like, I wouldn't even know if it wasn't for my color um, coding on my... Okay, it is getting better now. On my, on my RAM. I can see, like... It gets super red if it gets close to its limit. And it was very, very red looking to me there. <laughs> okay. Gotta make sure I don't break my computer playing this game, right? Yeah, Broad City has to be one of my favorite shows that I've seen in a while. And I just kind of binged it with my wife and then like kind of stopped. It's a super funny show. It's just all about like like being a young woman in a city. And just like the two characters, main characters are really good comedians. Like just honestly, even outside of that show, I love seeing them just interact with people because they're just funny. They're just like legit funny people, you know? Okay, my graphics card did not explode. Fantastic. I'll leave those prisoners and honestly, I really wish I could kill that guy that left. Abel, whatever. If I find you, man. If I find you again and I beat you. Oh, man. You are gonna pay. There's something I'd like to discuss. Can I convince you to join me? H how? <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's not happening. I'm on to you, man. At least he'll join me willingly next time. Um, this place has got 150 defenders. Tempting. Tempting to attack that place. Um, we're kind of hurting though. And I think these places technically have defenders and I can technically get more recruits from them. So why not, right? So if I can go here and be like, hey... Um, no, I can't. Aw. Uh, dang it. I am a serious nuisance right now. It's pretty awesome. I like it. Um, We're gonna need to find someone to attack somewhere. Probably more militias. And we could take a castle. I just don't know if we can hold it. 
and recruit other lords, unfortunately. And we do have enough troops right now that we might be able to like actually just defend it. I'm not sure. This place has how many defenders? 136. Yeah, we can handle that. Yeah, give me your recruits and prisoners. Either or. Either or is fine. It might also be that my computer just got super hot there because we, um... It's kind of a warmer weather. Like, it's summer right now compared to what it was. I mean, it's winter in-game, but for me right now it's like the middle of summer, so... Was that an arrow that just hit the snow right next to me there? I could have sworn. Yeah, this is way better of a map for us. This is way, way better. Having this open space to maneuver is gonna be good. They do have a lot of... Did I just go into the outer area? It didn't even say anything. Yeah, I'm just gonna kinda hang back for a little bit, maybe. Take some shot. Oh, nice. I got lucky there. <laughs> yeah, you guys are dumb running at me without your shields up. Come on. AI, put your shield up, man. You're super dumb. Oh. <laughs> I feel like Robin Hood whenever I do that, you know? Whenever I get someone like that. Oh. Like, on the horse, back when you do like a little, uh, I want to say drive-by, but you're on a horse. And you just like get them with an arrow. Come on, there we go. These guys are getting crushed. This is much more like what we should be seeing. I feel like the mercenary left us because he wasn't getting enough influence and then we weren't paying him. Um, or he didn't leave, no. That was the other guy. He probably was not happy about being landless, but it's like, dude, the kingdom that you joined does not have land. What did you expect, you know? Yeah, you guys should just face, face the music, as they say. That was a really nice battle. And we did lose 11. That's actually... Eh. Not ideal. We kind of probably should go to like a neutral city and just get recruits from there. Because I feel like the Vlandians... There's, there's one thing that we need to keep in mind is that we're kind of suppressing them. You know? So... I think that that's good. Sorry, I think I just heard something at the door, but I'm pretty much done, so... I'm just gonna end this just as, like a second early. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One. Oh wow, 365 days of the year.